Good afternoon, everyone. We are going to give this another shot. It's Talk About Tuesdays. I just got back from Taco Bell, Crunchy Taco Time, T-A-C-O, Talk About Tuesdays. And I got my mentor joining us, the amazing Dr. and Master Shaw, S-H-A, at Master Z Gung Shaw. He is a grandmaster, a Tao grandmaster, a healer, teacher, an author, drshaw.com. And we are going to be doing a free uh, Tao practices and Tao calligraphy uh, event together to expose all of my community uh, to one of the most powerful practices that I have, uh, which is tracing calligraphies uh, and uh, understanding the Tao. And uh, the ferocious Buddha was uh, taught by Master Shaw, and he is uh, like Sadhguru, uh, an unbelievable master. And uh, David at dmelser.com were to join us. Wait for this. You are in store for one of the biggest treats of your life. World renowned, my master, my mentor. There he is. <laughs> How are, how are you? Fine, thank you. Is this is this your first IG live? Yeah, no, first time in Instagram. For first time. All right, well, you're you're looking good, and uh, we had too much power this morning. We were screwing up the Instagram, so the uh, universe tells us it must be at noon today that we do this, right? Yes, thank you, thank you. <laughs> well, you know, obviously you have changed my life. I wanted to tell everyone and have you on here uh, that uh, the biggest change in my life has been to understand uh, that I am not in control of my life, that there's greater power of light, love, and lessons uh, to be had. And there's many ways that we can clear the interference or the karma that we have. And I've been... Uh, practicing uh, tracing calligraphies for years now. I was blessed to receive a gift from you, two beautiful calligraphies, one for my family and one for my finance and, and health. Uh, but I trace them every single day. Maybe you can give us a little background on, you know, I know it's unbelievable when I tell people, but you know, on what exactly Tao healing practices and calligraphy is all about. Thank you. Thank you, David. <laughs> Thank you. So Tao is the source. I think millions of people know Lao Tzu, Tao Te Ching, the author of Tao Te Ching. Millions of people know Bible. It's like a China ancient philosopher. He explained, you know, we know heaven and earth. We live between the heaven and earth. So, but the heaven and earth are the creator. But who created heaven and earth? That's Lao Tzu shared with us. Ultimate source is Tao. Tao created heaven and earth. There's a deep wisdom. We may not have time to explain detail, but we just know there's a source. Art, calligraphy is art. Tao calligraphy is a transformative art. When I met you in Los Angeles many years ago, you know, I just used the brush to create a calligraphy. So why I create calligraphy, I connect with the source. So they put the love and the light inside. Everybody know energy. Everybody understand the feel. If you standing beside the ocean, you feel the ocean energy. You standing in front of the forest, mountain, you feel energy also. So there was sunshine is energy. So this calligraphy carry the source energy invisible therefore when you connect you trace every day this is the feel beloved einstein said only real things <laughs> in mother earth in universe it's a field this is a sacred field with love light frequency vibration and a positive information quantum physics Talk about information, energy matter. So when we have a pain, inflammation, tumor, cancer, relationship, financial challenges, we have a negative information, energy matter. So therefore, when you connect every day, whatever the blockage, they wash away. Everybody understand the car wash. You drive to a car wash the store, they wash. Therefore, when you twist a click, with, uh, therefore, you told me before, Master Shah, the money come in with no effort. 
because why that is a light wash negative information energy out for your finance or for your family that's why you have good relationship happiness you told me you increase intelligence you are so successful i'm so honored i served you with my dalkery wifi <laughs> and, and i want to say this because you know this and i don't uh, say this to offend anyone but i was very skeptical <laughs> when i met you i was running a sports agency and my book agent uh introduced us and you know i i was like oh come on this stuff doesn't work and <laughs> i was very resistant and then you helped so many of these hall of fame athletes you helped so many of my friends and family uh and myself and so much so uh that i you know i have a philosophy about this i have an open mind an open heart and open hands and those have opened further because of you because i you know was resistant at first and once i opened my mind my heart and my hands to what you do and i said to myself you know what would this hurt you know is this going to hurt anybody you know you bless some bracelet that you see here <laughs> i wear i wear them every day i said what will it hurt if i wheel, wear this healing bracelet to heal all the interference between me and what i am healthy happy worthy and wealthy and then starting to trace the calligraphies you know i started one day and i felt energy and i said well you know 10 minutes a day i'm going to commit to 10 minutes a day and quantifiably see a result i want to see i want to make more money that's what i wanted to see can i make more money <laughs> and not only did the money come flowing and it still does and it does and i do it every day but my own health my relationships all, you know in you know we you predicted i don't know if you remember you told me the pandemic was coming You yeah. said that in the time you said we need to be healthy David uh and and we this will help you and you gave me a book to trace calligraphies for my health you to uh, a wall calligraphy and people pay a million dollars by the way uh for these gifts they people because I would pay a million dollars because I make way more than that from this gift that's not why I trace though I trace to receive these downloads of the truth the highest power and the biggest surprise master shaw which you didn't tell me was awareness uh why does the calligraphies and the healing raise my awareness to make things so effortless and so easy to understand things you know i'm on a stage speaking or here and i don't know what i'm saying it's coming through me what why is my awareness changed so much yes good same one sentence hers relationship finance awareness wisdom intelligence our body is made by body mind spirit we all know this but because the negative information energy matter for your awareness still have a blockages when you connect the dao calligraphy transformative uh, and the art so is that the dao calling is that the dao calling uh, yeah <laughs> that's a dog holy so therefore the light that comes in and they wash away for your heart for your mind for your brain for your central nerve system so therefore you suddenly like you said now when you talk as your show you are so successful because your your connection with heaven with the source the channel opens So this week therefore click with you not only for healing and for transformation finances also is for intelligence for wisdom so i heard next tuesday you will arrange a, a short session i will do a live create a calligraphy like people take a look how i create a calligraphy yeah so next tuesday what i wanted to do for my community and i'm going to be promoting it everywhere is that most people don't understand what they don't know And so I ask you to do me a favor and if you would give a 30 minute workshop on calligraphies and showing what that is and how they work um and you know for me I'd love to while you do that as well explain the unbelievable transformation expansion growth and acceleration uh for me and my family and my business and my community and I wanted so much to share what you do 
to give you a platform. I want my whole community, everyone out there to know, uh, they asked me, well, how do you do it? Well, <laughs> this is the secret sauce. I'm giving it to everybody. They're gonna get to see Tuesday at 1.15 p.m. Uh, Pacific time. You're gonna be with me. We're gonna have everyone join us. It's free, of course, but we're gonna transform and show everyone how the calligraphy works. And you can pick and choose uh, we're going to do, you know, these digital calligraphies for everyone that you can pick and choose eventually. You know, I want something that's going to help me with my eyesight or with my finances or with my health. Wh whatever it is that you you want, there's a calligraphy for almost everything. Isn't that correct, Master Shaw? Yes. Calligraphy now, you, you have shared your financial flourishing. In fact, I have used calligraphy to have back pain, shoulder pain, tumor, cancer. We have 600 subjects with chronic pain, life-threatening conditions. So on the next Tuesday, I'm not only creating calligraphy, I will offer about 10 minutes, uh, 7 minutes, a blessing for all the participants to feel the energy. So I've been tracing my calligraphies on the road on my phone. And you have blessed me over the phone, over the internet. You have blessed me in person, uh, changing and clearing my karma and changing everything in my life. How does it work that you can do that over the internet? How does it work that you can give everyone a blessing and shift their energy and their karma? Perfect. Uh, <clears throat> everybody understand uh, Tao is ultimate creator. So we have time and space, but uh, for source, no time and space. In quantum physics, we understand the wisdom. Therefore, why the calligraphy carry the energy? Why connect? <laughs> why do be there? <laughs> Does not matter. You know, everybody sunshine everywhere. So this is source information, light, wha second everywhere. Therefore, I'm doing dog calligraphy light my start every Saturday. Thousands of people, more than 40 countries, everybody light on the back. People can go to drshah.com on the Facebook. You witness this so many stories with all kinds of conditions. So therefore, remote healing, dark calligraphy carry the love, light, frequency, vibration for finance, for healing, and for relationship, all life. And one of the things I want to encourage people is, you know, coming from someone like me, that if you're sitting there skeptical, all I ask is open your mind like I did, because, uh, you know, there are plenty of people that will tell you that this is BS, it doesn't work and whatever. I, I have no reason to tell anybody to do this other than two things. One, it does not have any risk at all. And two, it works for me. It works for me. I will swear by it. I will invest everything I have <laughs> to invest into it. And my last question, uh, Master Shaw, because we'll get everybody there next Tuesday, August 24th, 1.15 p.m. Email me or Master Shaw, drshaw.com, or of course, david at dmelter.com. We'll get everybody in. But my last thing is, I teach consistent behavior based off of tracing calligraphies every day. I started to realize that 20 minutes of meditation, 10 minutes of tracing uh, my calligraphy every single day was worth 10 hours on a Saturday. And why is it important to do something every day, not just once a week or once a month? Yeah, because every day you connect with the field. Every day connect with the, 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 the energy field, the source of field within the calligraphy. Uh, why every day we have sun? No sounds, no life. But the calligraphy has a special energy. When you connect, you get a blessing. You get the light coming. Uh, you, you know, you emotional, little down, and wisdom, <laughs> wisdom come. So therefore, this is just imagine this is a light field. Light field can transform your all life, emotions, health, finances. So therefore, persistence. Uh, David, if you are so successful, if you do not work, you do not go to office daily or working for something. Uh, you know, Olympic, the, the, the champion. They have practice every day. Everybody understand the persistence and the connection with the field. Very important. Yeah, super important in my life. It's allowed me to make more money, help more people, have more fun. If you look at the non-negotiables in my life, Master Shaw, my health is number one. 
my family is number two and the activity that I get paid for uh, is the third most important thing. By tracing calligraphies and learning from you, I am more healthy. I have better relationships, especially with my family than ever. I'm celebrating my 24th uh, anniversary with Julie, who you've healed as well. And <laughs> you've healed our relationship. My children are happy and successful. You can't ask for more than just those two things. But on top of those two things, my health, in my relationships, uh, I am blessed for abundance, that the money keeps flowing to me. And if that's your only motivation, I'm going to be honest with everyone. That was my initial motivation. I just wanted to make more money effortlessly. <laughs> and that's how I got started. But so many more things happened with my health and wisdom, enlightenment and awareness, my family and relationships. And it never slowed down the financial stuff either. So I have the, what they call in sports, the triple crown uh, of life <laughs> from calligraphies. And I am so blessed that you're in my life. I was hoping maybe you could give just a quick blessing. So everyone comes next Tuesday at 1.15 p.m. <laughs> just a very, so they get an idea. One minute blessing for everyone. How, what do you say? Okay, I will sing a song. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join the heart and the souls together. Love, peace, harmony. Love, peace, harmony. I received the sound from heaven. How about I sing one minute like that, okay? Please. Thank you so much. Give my love to Julie, Julie uh, and all your children, okay? Thank you. Everybody, uh, let me give uh, everybody relax. I love my heart and soul. I love all you. Humanity, join heart and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Just dance. <laughs> I love it. Thank you for the blessing. <laughs> Next Tuesday, August 24th, 1.15 p.m., come 30-minute quick session, learn about the calligraphies, and get blessed by the greatest healer that I've ever met. Change my life, my health, my happiness, my family, and my wealth. Get it all here with us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you, I love you, I love you. <laughs> Say hi to Dow for me and Master Cynthia. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> the great Master Shaw, DrShaw.com, DrShaw.com. Please, everyone, join me, my whole community. You want to know the secret sauce of David Meltzer? I just showed it to you, Dr. and Master Shaw. I've been tracing calligraphy for years on my phone, on my walls, wherever I can find them in my book. Um, very cool. Does not have any risk, and uh, it doesn't take much time, but it has an impact that you will not believe open your mind open your heart open your soul open your hands and you will not not uh regret it i pro i promise you're looking at the most skeptical sports agent of all times all i did was give it a try and i've had nothing but blessings since and want to thank everyone master cynthia bill gladstone and of course dr shaw dr shaw.com master and dr shaw my master and my friend who I'm ever indebted to. Thank you so much. The ferocious Buddha has spoken. Let me answer a few questions. Uh, as we, we uh, had some technological uh, difficulties this morning, let's go ahead and answer some questions. Thank you for putting them in here. Most valuable lesson learned from your conversation with Mark King, the CEO of Taco Bell. Uh, most valuable lesson is with curiosity. Uh, they are creating a Defy project because of curiosity and creativity, a four lane uh, drive through that drops your food from above. Uh, the kitchen is above the drive through and it's the future of drive throughs And it would only happen with a leader like Mark King that came from the sports industry, from TaylorMade and president of Adidas North America, spending almost 30 some years in the sports industry, transcending with creativity and curiosity to be an extraordinary leader and an intelligent follower. Thank you for all the lessons learned and catch them on the playbook. You'll really enjoy Mark King, CEO of Taco Bell. Uh, unbelievable lessons uh, that we have. Unbelievable person, uh, by the way. Here we go. How to deal with dysfunctional families better. 
Every single family is defunct, dysfunctional. There is no perfect family. There is only the way and meaning that we give to our families by understanding forgiveness, gratitude, accountability within the context of the family unit. Uh, and also use the great chain of feeding. I have learned that there's certain relatives that bleed me and I'm not going to feed them. I am going to understand and pray for their happiness, love them with all my heart, but I'm not gonna let them bleed me. I'm gonna feed the family members who feed me. If they don't feed me, I'll let them fall away in varying degrees. But if they bleed me, I will pray for their happiness and forgive them and love them. Uh, but I'm not going to put my energy towards uh, them. Very, very important. 80% of our time with family is spent with the people that bleed us most. Shift that paradigm. Feed the people that feed you the most in your family. And your own perception of your family will exponentially change, dramatically change, accelerate, and grow. You will be filled with love, unconditional love and happiness, even when you're at family functions. Why do so many people seek others' approval? If someone is struggling with this, how can they overcome it? Everyone struggles uh, with faux po, fear of other people's opinion. And so they want to seek approval. But when we seek approval, we'll never get it. We need to learn to love ourselves and others will love us. So I have the faux to Joe philosophy. Let's turn everything we're afraid of into the joy of, the joy of other people's opinion, trying to find the light, the love, and the lessons in what they say, not to see them as attacks, but to see them as constructive uh, nuances of improvement that we can have. Uh, FOMO, fear of missing out, turn it into JOMO, joy of missing out. If someone is struggling with this, how can they overcome it? Well, through gratitude, forgiveness, and accountability, we can overcome all of our fears by identifying what we're afraid of and utilizing gratitude and finding the light, the love, and the lesson in it through understanding and praying for its happiness, forgiveness, forgiving ourselves for whatever part that we paid to attract it into our lives, and find the lesson in it by being accountable and asking ourselves, what did I do to attract this to myself? And what am I supposed to learn from it? Taking complete control of the situation, giving us peace by taking control through forgiveness and gratitude, which allows us to remind, recollect, and remember that we are inspired in spirit, allowing things to come through us with appreciation, always adding value to what we're giving away because you can't give away what you don't have and you can't recognize what you have until you give it away. So make sure that you utilize all of those. Turn your foes to Joe's you will be much happier, especially in the context of your family. How do you find the perfect work-life balance? Well, first of all, I don't believe in work. I believe in activities. We're given 24 activities a day. There's activity you get paid for. There's activity you don't get paid for. There's activity you have planned. There's activity you don't have planned. There's an activity called sleep, which takes up about a third of your life. So first of all, understand the context of man rate constructive time that light and the speed of light determine the speed of time, which is 24 hours. You're given 24 hours of activity a day and you're allowed to give meaning to those activities. And so your mindset, heart set and hand set, the constructive conscious continuum, which you utilize what you believe, say, do, and even your personality traits, characteristics, obsessions and addictions, all perform the attention and intentions on the coincidences that you have as a result from the activity you get paid for and you don't get paid for. In order to balance these activities, you need to know your five daily practices. You need to know your what, your who, your how, your now, and apply your why. You need to know what you want. You need to know who you can help and who can help you. You need to know how to get it done. And you need to be prioritized by knowing your now by what's most important and then applying your why to that. When you do that, you will have a weighted balance every day of what you do and you will be happy. You will make more money, help more people and have more fun. This is why the five daily practices are so important. If you want the five daily practices or to come to my free 30 minute sessions with Master Shaw, just email me, david at dmelter.com. David at dmelter.com. I will also send you an ebook, audio book, or sign my book and ship it to you and pay for the shipping. Just email me, david at dmelter.com. How do you kindly but firmly respond to a low ball offer? First of all, all you need to know is perceived value and bottom line. If someone gives you something that's below your bottom line, walk away. 
that will determine whether or not they're going to come back above the line or not. So I respond kindly by saying, thank you, but that's below my bottom line. And, uh, you know, if you are still interested, please come back with something uh, more uh, aligned with what I perceive to be the value. But, you know, my asking price is blank. Uh, and uh, you know that you're just saving time if they don't come back with a higher offer. And because you are certain of your perceived value and bottom line, you're not going to waste your time trying to convince the closed mind because it takes a thousand times the effort to convince a closed mind to come above the bottom line than it does to find someone with an open mind who may fall within the range of your perceived value and bottom line. In any negotiation or any type of offering situation, all you need to know is your perceived value and your bottom line. If somebody offers you the perceived value, take it. Do not negotiate higher. If it's below the perceived value, in between the perceived value and the bottom line, then you can negotiate to what you think is fair if you like or just accept it. And if it's below the bottom line, walk away. Save yourself the time of dealing with the closed mind and allow that closed mind to either prove itself as being open and aligned and synergistic and supplementary to what you believe the value is or walk away and don't waste your time, energy, and emotion on something that's never going to happen. How to remain persistent in our goals and actions in spite of life swings. Utilizing the three laws, the law of gravity that says you are exactly where you're supposed to be, the law of Goya, G-O-Y-A, that says get off your ass, do everything you can to enjoy the consistent, everyday, persistent, without quit, pursuit of your potential, not other people's potential, not what your family or friends or others want for you, not what's missing, not what you don't want, but what you want based on your what, your who, your how, and your now, and applying your why, you then can effectively communicate not only with the universe to be inspired, to allow yourself to know that I am happy, I am healthy, I am wealthy, I am worthy, what am I doing to interfere with it? That's why I trace calligraphies to clear the interference between me and what I am, but also between you and everyone else. So that when I receive more, I then appreciate it, add value to it, and give it away with less interference between me and everybody else. How do you negotiate for a raise with your current employer when you're working 50% more time every week for a year? The ability to get a raise or anything else is your ability to quantifiably articulate your value to succeed what you're asking for. If you practice quantifiably articulating the value to exceed what you're asking for and then tell your boss, can you see any reason you wouldn't want to pay me more, uh, you will have statistical success. If you don't have statistical success, you know that there will not be a raise. And then you can make a business decision if you can articulate the quantitative value somewhere else or you're happy where you're at and you're willing to keep on wor working or having activity that you get paid for at the rate in which uh, you have uh, accepted in the past. It's that simple. It goes both ways. Great time to buy stocks. It depends on which stocks. It's always a great time to buy stocks. Determinative upon your timing and risk tolerance, you should know if it's a great time to buy what stock by finding for you the capabilities of the company, career, or job within the context of that market or stock, knowing the market, the market maker, and of course, uh, the buy and sell side. So if you know the market, the market make it, and uh, the buy and sell side, whether it's oversold or overbought, you'll be able to determine uh, the best time to buy a stock knowing your timing and risk tolerance and alignment of the skills, knowledge, and desire of the careers, jobs, and capability of the industry. So what's doing well, what you uh, are stable, or what you think will be doing well in the future. How do you spell calligraphy? C is up above. Uh, put it in there. So... The calligraphies uh, are spelled out, spelled for you once. C A L L I G R A P H Y. Calligraphy. C A L L I G R A P H Y. You got it. Calligraphy with a C. Go ahead and type it into your spell check. Know your timing and risk tolerance uh, is very key. All right, I got time for one more question. Let's see what is um, rocking and rolling here. What does it mean to lower the bar? Uh, well, the hardest thing about doing something is to what? Get started. So the easiest way to get started is to lower the resistance of getting started. The easiest way of lowering the resistance to get started is to lower the bar, to build the momentum, to get moving. Nothing happens until it moves, as Einstein says. So we want to lower the bar, use motivation to get started, to get 
back started to get up to get back up then utilize the five daily practices which i'll send you david at dmelter.com david at dmelter.com pin right here david at dmelter.com the what the who the how the now and applying your why those five daily practices will change your life if you what do them daily i wear my bracelets i trace my calligraphy but i utilize the five daily practices to execute on all the downloading of the information that i get as I do it in my sleep and when I wake up and tracing a meditation, et cetera. Of course, we all meditate faith like gravity. Thank you everybody so much for the extra time today, especially thank you, Master and Dr. Shaw, drshaw.com. Join us on the 24th next week on August 24th at 1.15 p.m. Pacific time. Join me for a free session, blessing and calligraphies with Master Shaw. Please don't miss it. I'm telling you, it's not BS. It works for me. It has no risk. You will love it. I was resistant to it. Now I'm like the biggest fan ever. Don't buy into the BS. It works and it works really well for me. If it works well for me, try it to see if it works for you. It's worth the 30 minutes of your time. David at dmeltzer.com. Stay blessed, everyone. Thank you, team. Thank you, everyone. Remember, most importantly, be kind to your future self and do good deeds. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks.